Hey guys, and welcome to Tasmania TV. Today's video is another one in my DIY fetish series, and we're gonna be using duct tape again, and today we're actually gonna create an underbust with boning and everything. So I'm pretty excited about this. It costs very little to make this, and it's actually pretty simple. Um, it's 8 o'clock at night here, so I have pretty crappy lighting. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Sorry if the lighting's too bad. So obviously you're going to be needing some duct tape for this. I'm going to keep using black because, well, I do like black. You're also going to be needing metal wire, and this is the same wire that I've been using in a previous video when I did the um, neck corset. Uh, this is what we're going to use to create the boning. If you want to use real corset boning, you can just go ahead and do that too. I'm also really excited because I'm premiering my grommet machine today. So obviously you're going to be needing grommets. If you don't have a grommet machine, you can use one of those like disposal kind of ones or the, just a hammer. There are different kinds of grommets though, so check on the pack which kind you buy so that you don't buy one that's for a machine and you don't have a machine. Also, if you want to decorate your corset with anything, just go ahead and do that. Uh, and obviously you're going to need some kind of lace to go through your grommets to get that proper corset lacing. So with that said, let's get started. So I'm just going to start by taping myself in. And I'm going to use two layers. The first layer, the inner layer, is going to be with the glue facing outwards. Just like we did with the neck corset. And then the second layer is going to be with the glue inwards. Now, the best thing to do is to do this straight onto your body and not have any fabric on underneath like I do right now. But I kind of don't want to, you know, take off all my clothes on YouTube. So I'm just going to keep my tank top on. And I think I kind of want to start in this height. If you have somebody to help you with this, that might be a good idea because it can be a little tricky. Just take it slow and you should be fine. All right, then you just keep layering and try to keep it from moving. It's not easy, I know. You don't have to worry about the uh, the bottom looking nice at the moment. We're going to fix that later by a sort of hemming trick using the tape. It's going to keep sliding up, so try to sort of push it down. Alright, I think this is a good height or a good length. So I'm going to cut the tape off here. So the next part now is to place the boning onto this layer before we start working on the second layer. So I'm going to show you how to make the boning yourself. So you need to have metal wire cutters, so you can cut your metal obviously. I'm not going to do what I did for the neck corsets, which was um, bend the ends so that they're not sharp. I'm going to show you a different technique instead. So what I need to do here is measure and leave just a little bit at the top and at the bottom and then cut that off Whoops. and then cut as many of these as you want to use all in the same length so for this corset I decided to cut six metal wires for the boning which means I'm gonna put like three in the front and then three in the back and remember that for the middle back we're gonna have the lacing so don't put these too close to the middle and the back so here's what you do to get rid of the sharp edge so that you don't poke a hole through your corset. So as you can see here, I have taped the sharp edges using the same tape so that there's nothing sharp here and I just basically took the tape and wrapped it around. So that is all you have to do. 
All right, so the next step is to place your boning, though, now that it's safe and protected, onto your under layer. And just bend them so that they kind of follow the shape of your body. And if you want, like, to exaggerate, like, more of an hourglass figure, that's kind of what they're for. If you don't want to go through the process of attaching the boning, you can skip it and just do a decorative under bust or bustier. And then I'm going to place the two in the back. All right, now that the boning is in place, it's time for the outer layer of tape. But this time, instead of going horizontally, I'm going to change things up and use the tape in a vertical angle. That's going to make things look a lot neater. And if you guys use when you have taped yourself in completely all the way around it's time to cut this open now if you want to put the corset lacing in the front obviously you can do that too but I'm gonna do it in the back and for that I'm gonna need somebody to help me cut the middle back open so I'm just gonna get some help to get this thing off of me once your underbust has been cut off it's gonna look something like this what we're gonna do now is clean up the edges at the top and the bottom and also the edges that we just cut to get out of the corset. I'm gonna make this very simple. Start at one of the edges. And just follow the line. All right. And carefully Fold that edge in. It's not going to be perfect because you are going to need to make some turns because, well, we do have some rounded figures, us ladies. All right, so we have the bottom half done and then repeat that process for the top half as well. Since we are using lace for this, I want to be able to tighten the corset, which means that I have to make it a little bit too small. So I'm just going to cut off a little piece of it on this side right here. And then tape that. Alright you guys, it's time to put my grommet machine to the test. So I'm going to repeat that on the other side and then put some lace on and then we are done. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, as always, just go ahead and put them in the comments. And if you have any more requests for fetish DIYs, just let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!